the Aha! Maria? Me? Sorry, I must took you for someone else. Still, you could pass for Maria in a heartbeat. Oh dear, we're really in trouble this time. Celis looks like Maria? That man must have dropped this. That man is the director of the trope in the performance at the Opera House. Everyone just calls him Impresario. Impresario? Impresario? That sounds right. Impresario. He's been in a tizzy ever since that letter arrived. Dearest Maria, I've decided to take you as my wife, so I'll be coming to kidnap you, the wandering gambler. Who's this wandering what's-his-face? Were you born on a farm, son? Oh, this sounds good. A gambling vagabond who finds freedom from society's narrow views of morality aboard his airship, the Blackjack. That would be Sensor, owner of the world's only airship. If we had that airship, we'd have our way into the Empire. Let's set up a meeting with this Sensor. Sensor, A. Eh? That's a cool name, I have to say. Ah, it's you again! <clears throat> we read the letter, so Setzer is coming to snatch Maria away? He'll probably appear right at the climax of this first act. He loves to make an entrance. Uh. Perfect! When he shows up, we'll jump out and nab him. Dear me, no! You'll ruin the performance! I'll lose my job! But if you don't do anything... Do you see my conundrum? I want the performance to be a success, but I don't want Maria to be abducted. I say, let him take her. We'll use a decoy. Once he's got her, we'll follow him right back to his airship. And if all goes well, we should be able to commandeer it. Are you mad? If anything should happen to Maria. That's why we use the decoy. We can hide Maria someplace safe. Come again. You said yourself that Celis looks like Maria. Now, just a minute. She could be our Maria. We'll let Setzer kidnap her and lead us to his airship. Brilliant! Hold on here. I'm a former general, not some opera floozy. <laughs> me, 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 me. Do, re, me. Fa. <coughs> Ma. Re. That's the spirit. <gasps> Ultros! Mwahaha! <laughs> I got some my own little surprise planned for y'all, just like Zetzer. It'll be tons of fun.
Better get to work. We've got to make a star out of you, Silas. Yeah. Isn't anyone going to read it? The war between the East and the West was growing more violent by the day. Draco, a soldier from the West, thinks of his love, Maria, back at home. Oh no! Gasp! I'm going to check on things in the dressing room. Oh, I hope this works. Go on, give her some encouragement. Oh, wow, pretty song, pretty song. I can't remember why I have him. Why did I choose to keep him? What we got here? Huh? It's too late. Oh, that's the lighting room, isn't it? Yes. Stand there in darkness while I explore. <laughs> hmm. Whoops. <laughs> oh, I was hoping that letter would be there. Oh, ain't you cute? Have you always been that pretty? Locke, why did you stand up for me when you did? Because I'm tired of standing by and doing nothing while I lose the girls I like.
that ribbon looks nice on you. Smooth, lock, Smooth. I have to go on stage soon. This next scene's an important one. Maria starts to worry about something that's happened to Draco and pours her feeling into a song. Shouldn't you check the score one last time? <laughs> yeah. Yes, read the score. Scene one. Oh, my hero. My beloved, shall we still be made to part? Though promise of perennial love yet sang here in my heart. I'm the darkness, you're the starlight, shining brightly from afar. Through hours of despair, I offer this prayer to you, my evening star. Must my final vows exchanged be with him and not with you? Were you only here to quiet my fear? Oh, speak! God, me anew! This is where you pick up the flowers, climb the stairs, and toss the bouquet from the highest balcony. Be sure to finish by the end of the interlude. There is isn't much time before the start of scene two. Impresario. Scene two. Let me read it. Oh, my hero. My beloved, blah, blah, blah. Through promise, blah, blah, blah. The darkness. Start like blah, 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 blah. Through despair. Good deal. We got this. The Western armies were defeated, and Maria's castle fell into the hands of the East. Forced to wed the Eastern Prince Rouse, Maria still thinks only of Draco as she gazes at the stars each night. Come, Maria, dance with me!
Prince Ross is looking for his dance partner. Please leave the past behind. Our kingdom is part of the East now. That was so beautiful. You were wonderful, Celis. That's right, she was. What's this? I owe you guys one. So I'm gonna jam up your opera. Ultros. Uh-oh. Better tell the impresario. Uh, who's he at? No, that's not him. Uh, is he in here? Oh no, he's up there with us. What? Oh, this is going to be good. Yeah, listen to that. Attack! Wait! But how is he planning to disrupt the opera? With that? Oh no! <laughs> Let's see if Maria can shrug this off! This is heavier than I thought. It's gonna take me five minutes to push this thing off. We haven't a second to lose. Talk to the stagehand. Room up on the right. He'll let you up there. Leave it to us. Oh god, it's an actual five minute timer. Oh god. <laughs> Run. The impresario sent you. You need to get up to the catwalks. Lower the switch on the far right, but don't touch any of the others. Okay. Oh, God, I have to go back across this way. Oh. Oh, so much time. Oh. Oh no, what is that? Oh no, I don't have time for this. Bacteria? Thank you. 
God, I got no choice. Burn! Yeah, take that. Take gravity, nerd. That gum it. Oh my god, are you kidding me? No, this will never do. With those two flattened, there's no one to win the girl. How can the story possibly continue? <laughs> Neither Draco nor Rouse will win Celis's hand. It is I, Locke, the world's premier adventurer, who shall take her as my wife. Oh dear, what dreadful acting. Silence, knave. You stand in the presence of octopus royalty. A lowborn thief like you could never defeat me. I challenge you to a duel. Hmm, might as well make the most of this. Music! Let's go, nerd. Over here! Hmm. 
Oh god. That's not good. Oh no! What? But I had these. What in the world is that? I, for one, ain't no garden variety octopus. He has to sleep on himself. Imp, buddy, pal. Having fun yet? <laughs> he just keeps casting sleep on himself. Oh, son of a gun. Oh, that's bad. Oh, not that bad. Ford it again. I feel like such a sucker. Yay. Hold it right there. My compliments on a most impressive performance. Setzer. I'm a man of my word, impresario. I'm taking Maria. Wah! Unforeseen twists at every turn. Just as we think Maria is to become Locke's new bride, she's dragged off by Setzer instead. What fate lies in store for her now? Be sure to come back and see part two! Don't worry, I'll give you plenty of attention later. <laughs> what a performance. You're a great fake actress, Celis. Enough. But the real show starts now. It's time for Act Two. Where's Setzer? 
He should be right back. What are you doing in here? You're not Maria, how are you? Setzer, we need your help. We need to get to Vector. Your ship is the only... If you're not Maria, then we have nothing to talk about. Wait! We heard that your ship is the finest vessel in the world! And that you are the world's greatest gambler. I'm the King of Figaro. If you help us, you'll be real rewarded. Come with me. Then you'll... Don't misunderstand me. I still haven't said I'll help you. Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, let's see. There we go. Hmm. Business has been awfully slow lately, thanks to the Empire. You're not the only one suffering. The Empire has been toppling towns and villages left and right. They're abusing their magitech power and trying to take over the world. My kingdom was allied with the Empire until recently. Hmm. We're at least together in hating the Empire, right? So, please... You know, I think you may have even been cuter than Maria. Huh? Alright, if you, if Seleph becomes my wife, I'll help you. Otherwise... What? Are you crazy? Fine. Great, it's settled! On one condition. We flip this coin. If it's heads, you help us. If it's tails, I'm yours. Well, Mr. Gambler? Ah, I like it. I accept. Celis, are you serious? If you marry that guy. Ready? Heads, I win. Now it's time for you to hold up your end of the bargain. A valuable trinket indeed. I've never seen a double-headed coin before. I'm afraid you've been hustled, Mr. Gambler. But that's part of the game now, isn't it? Ha! How low can you stoop? I love it! Alright, I'll help you. Gambling against the Empire with nothing to lose but my life? I haven't felt so excited in years! My life's a chip in your pile. Ante up. I can't believe this clunky old thing can fly. You sure it'll stay in the air? When things fall, they fall. Life's a game of chance. You play your cards and fate plays hers. They'll spot us in the air from miles away if we try to fly this thing into the Empire. We'd better land a safe distance away. That sounds like a good idea. I'll stay on board and keep the ship ready to take off at a moment's notice. Ooh. Ominous. That's very foreboding. <laughs>